Yes, it's Mr. Truck again <laughs> with some more gadgets. I love gadgets. It makes life easier. And this is from Bolt. Now I've showed you this cable before. It's my favorite one. It's a locking cable using your ignition key. And of course, they got the new padlocks out that are just so cool. Let me walk in here so you can see them. The new padlocks, and I'll show you how they work. They're awesome, all with your ignition key. You can't beat that. And the cable, I got a new one. Let's do an un unpackaging. Let's tear the plastic apart. That's what it is, since they don't come in a box. And there they are. Cool, it's cable. It's six feet of cable. And with that six foot of cable, you have this lock that locks with your ignition key. And I've showed you this once a long time ago. I just don't want you to forget, because it's so cool. Six foot of cable, the lock goes on the end of the cable. Now it's on there. Now I better figure out how to unlock it. Find my ignition key somewhere. Yes, got my ignition key now. So one key does it all. And this has a little tab that they put over the hole with all the warnings telling you, you know, do this when you're serious about which key you're going to use. And some of you have several vehicles and you usually have them all on your own key ring. And I've got a lot of keys. I don't even know why I have so many keys, but I do. So then you take and you just tear a little piece of plastic out of there so you can get to the hole. So there's a hole. That's the keyhole. We call that the keyhole. And then all you do is you put your key in there and then you twist it and bingo, it comes unlocked. Let's see, there, <laughs> I had to turn it further, but that's all there is to it. I love these things. Now, you know, when we're out camping with our ATVs, this is why I tie all the ATVs together with and I tie them to the trailer at night so they don't get stolen. But that's the thing, there's so much stuff you have that can get stolen. You got a trader lock, and I'll show you that. If you've been using it for years, it's kind of faded in color, but I use it. It's outside a lot. Now this here has so many uses, like, you know, on this trader behind me has my Jeep on it. I can run it anywhere. I can run it through my shackle, run it through my winch, and lock this thing to anything I want to lock it to. And that's the cool thing. So I unlock it one more time and take it off. Is that you can tie everything together. You can tie your Jeep down so people don't steal it. You can tie it, your trailer, to your truck so people don't steal it while you're sleeping and camping. You can tie it, one of my favorite places, I tie it on my winch. Because, you know, people figure out how to take a winch apart and then they got you. Hope you can hear me in my wind, but here's where I tied the cable bolt to my winch, and then I tied it over here to this D-ring that's welded to my trailer. And that way, thieves will have to go away, but that's all it is. This lock goes through your loop, and then you put your, your the lock on the end of it. So that's the cable through the loop, and then lock that on there. And they can't get it off there. I mean, this is heavy-duty stuff. I'll show you that as a close-up. But that is so many places you can use that. And I'll even hook it up to my hitch, going from my hitch to my trailer. Because I can also easily lock my hitch. But that's how they work. And they're, you know, yeah, I've got two padlocks, I'm going to get two more. There's so many places I tie them up to secure my ramps on my dump trailer, to secure my door on my RV toy hauler. And it's just, it's handy. And the handiest part is that key. It remembers your key when you put it in that first time. So you gotta be careful, don't do it a hundred times. Just do it that first time. And then you can use it every time you want to with your ignition key, which is too cool. Now I'm gonna put it on the hitch and tie the trailer to the hitch. And then I'm gonna show you close-ups of that. So don't go away. And this is where I tied it to my hitch, my Gen Y hitch on my truck, which has its own lock that I put on it, and then I ran it through a loop of my adjustable 
receiver hitch on the trailer, and that's all welded to the trailer. So I ran a loop through that hole and threw the receiver into that lock. And that's all you do is this goes through that loop, part of the cable, and then you put the lock on the end. It's got a cap, keep water out and all that. But that way, because you'd be surprised what these can do. If they think your trailer's worth $10,000, they may just, while you're sleeping or while you're off four-wheeling, they may just come over here and unhook your trailer and push it back and hook onto it and be gone. So you want to protect that stuff because this stuff gets expensive. And what's more expensive is the fact that you got to replace all the stuff that was on the trailer. You may have toolboxes, you may have chains, you may have all kinds of stuff. So prevent the loss and prevent the headache of trying to replace everything and talk your insurance company into helping you. But that's how that works. Well, these are just simply called Bolt, B-O-L-T, if you can see that in a close-up. Easy to spell, B-O-L-T. And I will put their website on the button in the description. So if you want to order them, if you want to check out all their products, you can go there and click on that link. And it's just too cool. It's one of my favorite, my favorite accessories. It's one you can use all the time, and that's what's cool. That's what I look for is those accessories that are valuable to you, that improve your life. And I hope this wind goes away because I've been here my whole life, 64 years. The wind used to come in February and March. Now it's all the time. It never goes away. It's like being in Wyoming or Kansas. It just blows and blows and blows. Don't go away, Mr. Chuck.TV. We'll be right back. goes in here ignition key you set it for the first time and it really works it locks your trailer up let me show you we already introduced the lock to my key and that's basically what you do so there's my key in the lock and then you just twist it you twist it and it comes off that is so convenient and there's the lock same lock they use on everything I like these these are awesome this is the trailer lock push it on there and now it's locked I unlocked it with my ignition key one key does it all but on this lock <coughs> of course you have lock on the bolt on the outside but you see how faded it is the coupler goes on this they come up two different sizes two and five sixteenths and I think a two inch and this is faded because it sits outside. I've been using this for like five years to lock my trailers. That's why it's faded, but it's a great lock. I really like using this. It's simple. One key does it all. The newest thing the Bolt has sent me is padlocks. These are so cool. Same thing. Use your ignition key. I'm going to show you what I lock up on this dump trailer. sticker across where the key goes. Then you have to pop this piece of plastic out of there. That's all there is to it. Break the plastic out. Which I just did. Now there's the keyhole. Now all I have to do is one time push it in there like that on the padlock. That's the padlock. And then I unlock it. you where I use this. This is a heavy duty padlock. It's the real thing. All unlocked with my ignition key. Isn't that cool? I just love it. It's just so awesome. This is my Iron Bull dump trailer. It has a three-way tailgate. The size drop down. It's great. But stuff gets stolen. Just like traders get stolen. Ramps get stolen. All these things can get stolen. So first thing I put the key on, the lock, is on the back doors so nobody can just get into it and unload my Jeep or whatever they want to try to steal. 
A lot of stuff going on, especially during the pandemic. But this tailgate, it opens up like barn doors. And I just put the arm in, flip the doohickey down, and put the padlock in. And I lock it. And there you go. It's locked. And to unlock it, I just use my ignition key. And there you go, smooth as silk. Totally unlocks. I love it. Now what gets stolen the most off of this type of a trailer is the ramps. The ramps slide into these holes and then you have the quick pins. But if you use the bolt lock, <coughs> there it is. You can't steal my ramps. And those ramps are hard to find and they're expensive. Of course, like I said before, to unlock it, you just pop out your truck key, your car key, whatever you're using it on, stick in a hole, and there, bingo! It's unlocked. Very easy to do. Great little padlocks. Now this here is my toy hauler. Put our four-wheelers in here, we sleep in it, we camp in it, and it's so awesome. And I have padlocks on it also. It holds the big door shut. Again, this is also a butterfly lock. That's how you let the door down. So you close it, put it in place, and then I use my padlocks here too. Right in there so people can't get into my four-wheelers and swipe them. Like any other padlock, and there it is, it's locked. Locked in place. That's a nice and easy way to do it. And you only have to think about bringing one key, and bringing one key is a big deal. Because I have thousands of keys, and I can't remember where they all go, but I never lose my ignition key. See, it pops right out, and there you are. You can get into your valuables. You can do this when you're sleeping at night, too. Keep people from messing with stuff while you're snoring. But this is what I do. These are my new padlocks. Just got these, and I'm using them everywhere. I'm probably going to get several more. So cool, your ignition key does it all. So now I can lock all my trailers up, lock the hitches up with the trailer lock, lock all the places I normally use padlocks and this is just a better way of doing it. So I hope you can hear me. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and link to it and tell your friends about it and go find one of these products that will work for you. Hi, it's Kent with MrTruck.com. Another review, a product review for trucks. And this time it's Roadmaster Active Suspension. I've heard about this for years and years and years. A lot of my friends have them, they all bragged about them. But I didn't understand how you could put a half a spring on half of a leaf and how that would work. But now I know <laughs> how it works against the shackle, the hinge of your leaf spring, and how that tightens it up and controls the leaf. Was which is what. So it's kind of like an anti-sway bar. It does a lot of things to control the motion back there. And you don't want a whole lot of motion back there, especially with an empty truck. Where you're on a loaded truck, you want to control that, but an empty truck is really squirrely. You need a lot of control there. You just saw the Roadmaster controlling the factory leaf spring. And that's what it does. It controls it in during a wheel hop when the axle's trying to bounce and then go sideways on you. Controls the axle wrap, which is the, the drive shaft, universal joints and the pinion, all torquing too much, too much angle because of the leaf springs turn into like a big S. It actually bends the factory leaf springs going through axle wrap and just shows you just how easy it is to install. It's a very quick installation. I think I did it in 30 minutes. And then in here it shows, you know, where I installed it. You install it to the eye in the front. The part goes underneath the leaf springs and this part cups back over by the shackle, the hinge. 